Hey yo, uh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on our triple seven and we're going to be building the back fuselage of our triple seven today so that we can redo that and continue on with the series. So, um, what we did last episode over a long episode is a probably one of the longest episodes I've done ever where I'm talking the whole time. Uh, I think it was like an hour, 16 minutes or something crazy like that. But um, what I want to do is in this, this episode, I want to redo this and hopefully we can get it done within half an hour, maybe uh, no promises and we'll see. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, guys, just a quick change. I just want to change the front of this around a bit, just a tad bit. So what I want to do is I just want to increase the height by one so that it's uh, realistic to the um, 777 because the 777 has a fuselage that's about 25 centimeters. That's taller than this roughly. So what we'll do is we'll simply just make this uh, slightly taller. So we'll just drag this along here and we'll just drag this one along here just like that. And I want to see if I could figure out a way to connect it a little bit better, because this is going to look a little bit weird initially. Okay, so let's see. Looks a little bit odd, but also at the same time, it kind of looks like it. Um, I don't know. Okay, we'll just save it as this temporarily, and then if we want to go back and change it, we'll fix it. So this is the actual cross-section of the 777. It is like this in real life, for the most part. Um, actually, I think the floor might be slightly taller. Or slightly higher up. Let's see. So the floor is roughly 11 blocks from the bottom. And the floor on this is 10. Well, 11 including this. So this is the right height. So with that, what we'll do is we'll just build ourselves a little floor. Um, Does the 777 have a step up? Let me double check really quick. Okay, it doesn't really look like it. So what we'll do instead of making a step up to the cockpit... We'll just make the, um, there we go, that's fixed. The floor a little bit higher, well not higher, but the floor will remain the same height and the seats will be on a little bit of a step. So we'll just uh, do that. So this is going to be where the controls are. And we'll just lay this out just like this on the temporary, just like that. And then, what was this? Oh, this is a part of that. Okay. So I guess uh, the pilots will sit just along here. This will be a little side panel. Actually, what we could do is we could just place some 1x2s right here. That will be fine. Okay. Um, so now that we did that, we'll just place the seats on a little stand. Uh, we'll just place these seats right here. And then we'll leave that alone. Okay. Let's work on the fuselage back now. Well, the back of the fuselage. We just save this and we'll save it now. We'll copy the cross section and we'll do this. So let's see, this is 25 blocks tall and this is 26. So the blueprint is slightly out of proportion, but I checked the stats in real life and it is 26. So we'll continue with this. So actually I need to step it up. We'll just add an extra block right here. Okay, so um, what we'll do is we'll start with this right here and we'll just start, actually we'll start at the top up here. So this is almost a one by four slope it looks like. Uh, we'll just start placing it right about here. And right about here, we'll start moving to a 1x5. So we'll just simply go like this. Or actually, we could skip directly to a 1x6. That would be easier. So it's going to be a 1x6. Or not. Maybe we'll go to 1x5. It'll look better that way. So we'll just continue like this. Sorry about the dog in the background. And we'll just keep placing like this. And then right here, uh, we'll go eight blocks. 
So one by eight slope at the very bottom. Cap, that will work. Perfecto. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now let's do the top. So we can assume that this right here is, we'll call it four blocks, maybe at max. And then the slope will probably be the same as right one here. So it looks like it's going at a one by four slope or one by eight slope. So how we can do this is we could just place this right here. And then at the very tip, we'll place this one by four and we'll continue at a pattern like this, just like that. And that will work. Now over here, it starts to increase. So we'll go at a one by eight and actually that's the top right there. So we'll just leave it right here. Okay, so the bottom, we'll add another one by four. So this one you need to be placed right about here. And actually we'll leave that alone for now. So um, we'll place it along like this and now we'll fill in this gap and then we'll continue from there. So let's just simply fill this along just like this and that's good. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll select it, all of this right here, including the these. So actually I did make a little bit of a mistake at the beginning of the video, so the fuselage Apparently is not 26 blocks tall, it's 25. I um, made a mistake while talking. So we're actually gonna have to fix this later. I do admit that mistake. Uh, the fuselage, I, I made the connection in my brain from this blueprint to the other. So the blueprint is actually 25 and then that extra block I was thinking of was this row right here, which makes it 26. So this is 25 blocks tall. So uh, what we'll do now that we've gotten that out of the way is we'll copy this and we'll press new vehicle and let's line this up and we'll drag this forward just to about right here. We'll paste it in and let's save this as 777 fuselage back. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll load in the blueprint for the top, which is this one right here. Okay, very nice. And the fuselage is 25 by 25 which means that this 12 block section times 2 which would be 24 plus this mid section would be the width so we'll be we'll be following this width right now so um this right here is a little bit interesting we'll have to um flatten that out after we do this so let's oh like spike let's fill this in first and we'll go to about right here and then we'll do a one by six slope so let's do that so every six blocks we'll place a one by four and then let's see this right here will be a door and let's actually move it back a block and then this right here this last one will be a one by eight slope okay perfect let's go ahead and fill this in actually make this black I'd say just to make sure that we remember that it's a door okay um, let's go ahead and fill in the gaps and then let's copy it so let's just go to the selection grid clear content let's select all this we'll copy it and we'll load the fuselage back and here it is we'll simply drag this over we'll rotate it we'll drag it back and then drag it forward a tad bit, down slightly, and then we'll just paste it in right here. We'll save it and we'll merge it really quick. And then, sorry, then we'll save it. Perfect. Okay, let's load the fuselage front and I need to grab the cross section really quick so that we can remember this. Oh, the cross section needs to be shortened by block. So actually we could do that really quickly. So we'll select this just like that and this and we'll actually go up a block just like that and we'll simply cut it move it down and then paste it and then merge it okay so let's go ahead and save this as fuselage front okay let's go ahead and go into selection grid and we'll simply select this and this and this and we'll copy it and we'll load up the back okay let's uh Let's go ahead and move it forward a bit. 
and then up, and we'll line the top up with the top, and then we'll merge it. Okay, fantastic. So this is the fuselage front. We need to fill in the blank. So what we're going to do first is we're going to drag and place this up on here. So this is the center line. This lines up with here, and that means this center block, this center line has to be a block. We'll go four blocks out. If only we had that block in Stormworks, but we don't. It's all good. So what we'll do is we'll simply copy this and we'll invert it and paste it up here on the other side, just over, let's see, right about here. So we're gonna drag this forward so it's lined up and we're gonna turn mirror mode off and then we'll work from this side. So how we're going to do this is we're going to paste this a couple times, just like that, and we'll just merge it just like that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create another row like this. Actually, what we'll do instead is we'll copy and paste it. That'll be quicker. So we'll just simply copy this, we'll paste it down, just like that. All right, so how this is going to work is we're going to place a bunch of one by four rows along this right here. And basically, we're going to fill it in from there. Or actually, um, we'll copy and paste a bunch from this bottom row. So these all have to be layered. So we need to layer these a little bit. Um, but to do that, we'll just simply grab this, we'll copy it, move it down, move it, and then we'll paste it. It's probably faster otherwise, but oh well, I'm already doing it this way, so might as well. So yeah, we'll just move it along, move it down, paste it, move it back, move it down, paste it, we'll move it back, move it down, and paste it, and then once more. Okay, that is good. So what we need to do now is we just need to merge it just like this, just along the whole thing, just like that. And we'll fix this really quick. And we'll actually need to grab this, the cross section, and we'll simply copy and paste it down the row, just like this four times, then we'll go back and merge it. And then we'll do the same. So we'll copy it, we'll move it and paste it four times just like that and that will be just fine so let's just simply do that okay cool now from here what we need to do is we need to select all this uh all of this and actually we'll delete no, we'll delete three rows of this so we'll just delete this this and this and basically what we need to do is we need to paste this in and then select all this and we'll copy this We'll move it and then we'll move it again so that it lines up perfectly. And we'll need to delete a lot of these rows. So we'll just delete another eight rows or so. So let's do that really quickly. Okay, I think that was eight right there. And then, oh, one more, okay. So we'll just delete that and that'll be good. Okay, so we need to paste this in just like this. We're going to delete these two rows just like that, and actually not this row. And then we'll copy and paste this right here. So we'll just copy it, move it back, paste it, and then we'll do it once again. So we'll just paste it in, and then one more time. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and merge this really quick, and that'll be fine. So we need to simply, uh, from here, we'll just simply fill these in just like this. And then we'll figure out a way how to merge the other ones in just a second. So yeah, we'll just simply fill in as we go. We'll delete this and this will be fixed by dragging this to roughly here. And then we could place uh, this right here. Actually, let's see. Um, since this is layered, we could actually just, we'll just leave it alone for now. Okay, this be dragged back to here and this will be dragged up to here same with this there we go okay and then for here we'll just simply connect this same with this which there isn't one for there yet but that's okay we'll just fill in and then we'll simply drag this down to here same with this perfect okay from here what we'll do is we'll just make another row just like that okay and that will be good for this row Okay, let's fill this in. We'll just place that there. 
And then for this, we'll drag this down and this as well. And we need to drag this down. Okay. So from here, we'll just simply fill that in. And then from there, we'll need to fill this back in way up back to here. And this will be left there. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just fill this in like this. Uh, we'll go one more block and that will be good. And then we'll just drag this to here. This one can just go right to here. So now from here, what we'll do is we'll just simply fill this in. And same with this. We'll just grab a 1x4 wedge and we'll just paste that in right there. We'll fill that in, I mean. And then we'll start filling these in. So this needs to be slightly different. So how we're going to do this one is uh, I suspect what we can do is, well, not what we can do, what we will do is we'll, we'll replace this with a one by two wedge, same with this, just like that. And that will be fine because now what we can do is we can simply grab a two by four pyramid and we could simply place this here. And then this two by two can be placed here. Same with this one except we'll start from here. Um, this one actually, this one could be returned to a one by four. Okay, so we'll just place that back right there. Okay, then from here, what we'll do is we'll just simply place this here, then we'll place a two by two pyramid, and this will replace this with a two by two, uh, two by four, I mean, and then just to smoothen it out just a tad bit. And here we'll do the same as everywhere else. We'll just place this here. Just like that and let's fill this in okay um now what we'll do is we'll simply fill this in and we'll start filling in this back section so how we'll do this is we'll start with like right about here and basically we'll just start filling in this just like this and instead of starting with that stupid slope we'll go with a one by two wedge initially and then we'll slope it down actually we'll go with the one by two right as far down as uh actually we'll, okay so how we're going to do this is we're going to place this here and then we'll place uh another one right here just to layer it a little bit and we'll just place this here and that'll be good actually what we'll do instead of that is we'll just place a one by four wedge and we'll place that there okay so uh from here, what we need to do is we just need to drag this back. And then right here, we'll place a 2x2 two two pyramid. How this will work is we'll place this here, and it'll be dragged to there. Same with this one. And then from there, we'll just simply cut it off right here. The reason why we're doing it like this is so we can place 1x2 to make it slope upwards, just like that, to smoothen it out. Then we'll place one right here. Same with one. Actually, this one won't be... Uh, we'll just, actually, no, this one, this row is done, so we'll just fill this in. Okay, now we'll start filling these in, just like that, and that will work just fine. And then from here, what we'll do is we'll fill this in, just like that, and then we'll start filling in rows of one by ones. Yeah. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just simply fill this in like that. Actually, I think... We'll do it one by twos just to make it steeper and connect better with this. So let's just fill this in like that temporarily, or we'll just place one by twos here, just like that. Okay, so now we'll just start flying in with these, just like this. This will be like this. And actually, you know what? Never mind. I think we'll just go with the one by ones. It'll work better in the long term. So let's just simply start filling these in. And then we'll move to the one by twos, just like this. And we'll simply fill this in. Oh, let's fill this in, there we go. And then we'll fill this in. And we'll start filling these parts in so that we could actually, you know, connect up the back part. And this could be directly connected to there. And then we'll do the next layer. So we'll just simply fill this in like this. And we'll drag this to roughly here. And so this right here, We'll just simply do that. Okay. Um, then from there, we'll place the one by two layer right here. And we'll just fill this in. Okay. 
And just like that, we're slowly but surely filling in the side. Let's see, this could be fixed. There we go. Okay, from here, we'll have to do a couple more layers. Well, actually, we need to fill this in really quick. And then we'll delete these, and then we'll fill this in. Okay, now we're going to drag this backwards, and we're going to do another layer. So let's delete this, and then we'll place that there. And then we'll place this one right here. Okay, let's fill this in just like this. Fantastic. Now we can drag this back from right here. Okay, we'll do this one as well. And we'll simply just fill this in like that. That'll be totally fine. So let's do this and then this. That'll be good. Okay, then from there, let's just simply fill this in. Okay, let's do this one as well. And same with here. And then from here, we'll grab a 2x4. Actually, we'll just place this 1x4 here, and then we'll continue off with what we were doing prior. So let's just simply fill this in. Oh, let's turn this sideways. There we go. Okay. Fantastic. Now from here, we'll place this here. Then we'll place a 2x4 here to keep up with this slope and also make it so it's three blocks wide for the vertical stabilizer. So the placement of the vertical stabilizer is a little bit easier. Perfect. Okay. Then from here, what we'll do is we'll just simply drag this back to here. Same with this. We'll just place this here, then we'll continue with the one by one slope. So we'll just fill this in normally. And then we'll place this here. And then this will go here. And then we'll start off with the one by twos. So this can be simply placed like this. And this one, oh, I need to fix that. And this one will be placed in like this. And we'll just simply place a two by four here. Uh, this one right here, we'll just place it here. Okay, fantastic. Let's place the one by four here. And then we'll fill this in. Same with uh, this and this right here. Fantastic, okay. So that looks a little bit better than the prior one. So let's simply, I suppose we should fill this in slightly differently. So let's try and go for something like this. Uh, just like that, and that will be fine. So, um, let's fill this in, just like that. Uh, did we do the whole bottom? Yes, we did. So, let's fill in all these. Actually, I'll just do a slight time lapse since this, or I'll just skip it. So yeah, let me do that really quick. There we go. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to simply, uh, I guess... What we'll do is we'll just uh, copy and paste it to the other side. But, but before we do that, we need to load content. We need to load my XML wedging pack. Uh, this one right here. Let's paste it in. And we'll clear content. And we need uh, this one right here. This is going to save our lives in so many situations and smoothen it out. So I'm going to leave it red until afterwards and then... I'll turn it back so that I can show you how many places we've used it. So we'll just simply move in our first location. We'll just place it right here, paste it, we'll merge it. Perfect. Uh, next place is, uh, I don't know, uh, the next place is on the bottom. There's a lot of them down there. So we'll go to here and we'll move it up and we'll simply paste it. Okay, we're going to do this again right here. We'll just paste it in and then we got a couple more, looks like two more. So we'll just simply invert it, move it up, and then paste it, and then we'll move it forward, move it sideways, and then up, and then we'll paste it, and let's merge all these, just like this. And that was it. So we used it in five cases, so we'll just simply fill this in. And yeah, so one here, and then four on the bottom. Okay, let's replace all. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll simply delete this pack really quick because we don't need it. We'll just simply delete it really quick. So I'll just actually use selection grid for this because it'll be quicker. And let me select it all, just like that. Let's cut it, clear content, and then we'll move on. We need to select all of this now. So let's select all this, same with the side part, and then we'll select this. Okay, then what we'll do from here is we'll copy it. We'll invert it, uh, pressing U, 
and then we will paste it. Okay, just like that, that'll work. Uh, I think this right here was never deleted from prior, but that's all right. Um, we need to fix this and this, there we go. Oh, okay. This is slightly off. Wait, oh, hold on. This needs to be moved back one block. Yeah, okay. Let's just simply paste it in and then that'll be good. Okay, fantastic. We need to even do this on the other side as well. So let's simply clear content, select this, and we'll cut it and we'll move it and then we'll paste it. Just like that. Okay, let's place the one by four block here. And let's find the floor. Okay, the floor will bring it back to here, just like this. And then we'll do it on the other side as well. And let's see. So the floor starts here. The door is going to oh, the door is going to start here, and it's going to be seven blocks tall, which will be here. So it's actually going to be slightly higher than this. So let's simply press Control Z, and we'll fill this in just like this. And we'll go down here. And mirror mode is not on, so we'll have to do this again on the other side. So let's simply just fill this in and let's go over here or what we'll do is we'll copy and paste it. That'll be quicker. So yeah, we'll just select this. Oh, I missed a block. So let's copy this, invert it using U and then we'll move it in place, which is right here and we'll paste it. Very nice. Okay. Uh, we missed a couple blocks, but that is okay. So let's select this. Oh, not that. And we'll simply fill this in just like that. Okay, fantastic. So now what I'll do is I'll select, well, I'll clear content. I'll select all this and I'll select this and this and this. I missed a block here, but that's okay. Actually, I, I didn't delete a bunch of these. So that's, uh, that needs to be done really quick. Okay, that's fine. I'll just leave it at that. And then what I'll do is I'll simply save this as fuselage back and what i'll do is i'll copy this i'll load the front which is this one and i will get the length of it which i believe this is the 200 which is what we're building so we'll drag this back to here this is a total length of 62.75 meters so let's press uh actually no not let's press okay let's move this just slightly back of here move it down and then forward okay and let's move it slightly back one block okay let's clear content after we pasted it and we'll copy this and then we'll press new vehicle so 62 meters and 75 centimeters so we'll go forward 30 30 on the dot so we'll go 29.75 so that it's in length of total the total length is Okay, then this one will go back 32.25. I think that's how long it was. I'll have to double check, but this will go back 32.25 meters. Uh, let's see, 32.25 meters. There we go. Um, so let me save this as Boeing 777-200 ER Remake. And we'll start pasting in these next coming episodes uh, onto this one right here. So let's uh, load up the blueprint really quick. This side blueprint just to double check to see how long the length is of the fuselage. Not the total length, but just the length of the fuselage. Uh, it is 63, no, 62.75. So we just need, we, all we need to do is add two blocks to the front or back. We'll add them to the front because yes, there we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and simply paste this right on top, just like this. And what we'll do is we'll select it using selection grid and we'll simply move this back to here. Okay, we'll cut it and we'll move it back to right about here and we'll paste it. And then we'll select the front part just like this. And we'll select this as well. We'll cut it, move it forward and we'll paste it. Okay, let's go ahead and merge this just like that. And then we'll copy and paste these right here so that it reaches the entire length of the fuselage. So yeah, we'll just simply copy this. 
Okay, we'll move it forward three or four times and then we'll merge it again. And then we'll reselect it and then copy and paste till we completely filled the fuselage length just so that we can fill in the blank. So we'll just go like that. Okay, fantastic, let's just merge this. And then we'll copy it and then we'll paste it and then we'll paste it one more time, just like that. Okay, fantastic. So let me rename this as, uh, oh, not rename it. Let me just uh, spawn it in now and let's see how it looks outside of the hangar. Okay, we'll just simply spawn it in now. And then now that it's spawned in, let's go hop in the front just like this. And let's see. Yeah, this is looking really good. It's definitely needing a midsection of vertical and horizontal stabilizers. But other than that, it's looking re really good. So um, we go back to the very back, which is a ways back here. Let's see. Yeah, this actually looked, that turned out pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here. So let's see. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join my Discord. It'll be linked down below in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So yeah, thanks for watching and bye for now.